video, um, the uh, motion detect and uh, time lapse uh, photography using uh, Raspberry Pi uh, computer. And I've just been playing around. Uh, this is uh, my uh, MOBA X, uh, X terminal that uh, is connected into the Raspberry Pi. I mounted it just in the window here, which is just a quick little test area. Um, there's the Raspberry Pi. They're about $35. I've got several of them. I use them for media players. And there it is. It's just uh, stuck into the window. Uh, there's a little bit of electrical tape there to uh, block the LED. Um, the, um, so it doesn't flash when the uh, thing goes into time lapse. Uh, now there's two sets of programs. Uh, one is just uh, time lapse, and it's a, it's a little script. And the other one is motion detect, and it's a Python script that uh, a person and uh, just uh, let me pull up the website here. Uh, his name was uh, well, his handle was uh, uh, brain. Brain Flakes. Yeah, there he is. And basically he's written a script that uh, that I've adapted. Uh, so here's the script here. Now I'm planning on building a web interface to, uh, to allow the camera to be controlled and some of the features set from a, from a web uh, interface. So uh, if I do this uh, Python script motion detect here. Then it will display the uh, any activity motion that's in the uh, that the camera sees. So uh, just give me a sec, and I will set that up so that uh, you'll see how it uh, how it detects the uh, the photos. So uh, here you can see that the uh, motion capture has been capturing. I set the sen sensitivity so that uh, uh, it wasn't quite as sensitive, but the, today the trees are, it's raining outside and the trees are moving around a bit, so it does. Uh, so I walked outside and uh, uh, here's caught me motion detect. So that worked quite well. Then I come back with a smile. So uh, it does a pretty good job. You have to play around with uh, two settings. Uh, one is uh, the degree to which a pixel changes. So currently that's set to 10. It's called threshold. And the other one is called uh, sensitivity. And I have set that to 140, the default uh, that uh, the original program was set to. So I plan on making these variables so they can be adjusted through a web. Uh, so that, what I'll do is I'll show you uh, some different examples of time lapse and uh, motion detection and uh, you'll be able to see those on the uh, video that follows. Okay, so um, it's kind of a neat little project and uh, I'm still working on this uh, web interface. I've got a, a light uh, TPD um, web uh, uh, web server on the Pi, and I've set it up to uh, read Python scripts, and I've done some testing and it works. So basically, I have to uh, spend some time and uh, write an interface into to uh, control the variables for the camera from a, from a web interface. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, so you'll see some examples following. Bye bye.
uh, here's a picture with my regular camera just so you can see the pie. Uh, today you can see a few trees moving and uh, and there's a raspberry pie. A little bit of reflection there but uh, I've got it tied into uh, the, my network and I've mounted a uh, uh, I've got a, a little script that uh, connects it to my uh, network access server and that's where I'm uh, uh, viewing the pictures from. So if I go on to uh, the files here. Yeah, my NAS box. I call it NAS box. So it's... Uh, anyway, catches cars and people walking and everything else. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay, just a little bit of um, background information. To create the videos from the stills, um, I went on, did some research, and I uh, used the, uh, uh, some of the information. I, I used a program called uh, MEWIG Encoder and installed it. And I couldn't really figure out how to use the, um, the settings on here to do to encode pictures, but there was a script, uh, like there was a command line interface to it, so I've adapted that into a, just a batch file called uh, time lapse, creating time lapse uh, batch file, a command line file. And it's got a great big long uh, command line. Basically, I've pointed it at uh, a directory uh, where the files exist. And I just put the files that I want to put in time lapse. Uh, make sure there's no zero length frames in there, because uh, that'll uh, stop the uh, the encoding. But other than that, uh, uh, I run this. It uh, goes through the series of pictures and creates a, a video, and uh, works quite well. So, just some information on uh, on how those. Uh, pictures or how the videos were created from the um, the various uh, still photos mm -hmm.